Aloha, welcome to another one of my neighborhood tours. The neighborhood we're gonna be talking about today is Manoa. More specifically, the west side, the Woodlawn side of Manoa, which is more on the west side like I was mentioning. Your median home price on this side of the valley is a little over $1.3 million. Very pricey, but what you're paying for when you move on this side is your convenience to Honolulu, well, downtown Honolulu. You're really only like 15 minutes away, 10 minutes away from downtown Honolulu. So if you're working downtown and you wanna live in a suburban area, well, this is like one of the closest suburban areas you can move to while being conveniently located to downtown Honolulu. Beautiful valley, green. There's lots of morning showers and late afternoon showers, but it dries out during the, you know, the middle of the day. Wonderful trade winds. It's a very cool valley, especially with your morning and late afternoon showers. Most of the homes over here are gonna be your three to five bedroom home. So a lot of the larger size homes. This is a well-established older neighborhood. So a bunch of the homes were made in the 1940s to 1960s, but there's also a lot that were made before the 1940s. So there's a bunch of historic homes over here as well. I've actually uh, got a chance to check out a couple of the homes, beautiful homes. With the historic homes, you save on your taxes. Your real estate taxes will only be $300 a year if you buy a historic home. And there's a few of them available in the valley over here as well. Walking, you no, know, this area is somewhat walkable. It all depends where you live in the valley. There's actually a huge shopping mall in the middle of the valley that has like Safeways, a bunch of smaller restaurants and all kinds of places to eat, Starbucks. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of places you can go shop at in the middle of the valley. So if you, so if you're located closer to that, your walkability is a lot easier than say if you're in the very back of the valley. Then you're looking at, I'm gonna to have to either use my bike or, or drive to, to the supermarket. real estate tax over here in this valley is $4,430. So it's very low when you compare it to a lot of the other places in the United States, considering how expensive the homes, like I was mentioning before, your median price over here is over $1.3 million and you're only paying taxes of you know, over $4,000. That's unheard of in most places in the United States. As I was mentioning before, a bunch of the homes were built in the 1940s and 60s almost 67% of the homes were built in that time frame. 
a little over 15% of the homes were built in the 1940s or older. A bunch of historic homes over here, as I was mentioning before, you save on your real estate taxes, plus you get a really nice home. They're very stately homes in this area. Really nice drives, great walking if you just want to walk around the neighborhood, meet your neighbors, beautiful, cool valley to live in. Cool, as I mean, in, like it's got nice cool breezes, trade winds coming through the valley all the time to cool everything down. So 97% of the homes over here will be single family homes. And 73% of the homes are gonna be in your three to four bedroom size. So they're gonna be large homes. This area has a high vacancy rate. You're looking at over 11%, which is pretty high for most neighborhoods. What makes this area great is your commute time to work. Most of the people that live over here, average commute to work is only 15 to 30 minutes. That's less than over 90% of the places in the United States. Great commute time, one of the positives of living in this area. But you pay for it, you know, the, the higher price, that's what you're paying for, it's convenience to downtown Honolulu. Almost 85% of the people in this valley drive to work alone but over 8% actually carpool to work. So if you can find the right people or if you live next to the right people, you can find some people to carpool to get you to work. Almost 59% of the people have one or two cars for each home. There's a huge park in the middle of the valley. It's Manoa District Park. It has a bunch of baseball fields. It has a public pool. It's located right next to Manoa Elementary School. It has tennis courts. It has basketball courts, playground, huge fields, bathrooms. This is a great area if you wanted to just spend the afternoon after, after work, just want to walk around. There's places to walk your dogs over here. This is a great neighborhood, if, well, especially for this park.
That's what's nice about Manoa. You know, it's nice and cool. You're in the back of the valley. It's green. There's, there's a lot of morning showers, late afternoon showers, which, which keeps it green over here. But it's not too wet. It's not like your windward side where you get much more rain. Over here, you'll definitely get rain, but it's not as bad as the windward side. And it's cool. You always get a nice breeze. Like right now, it's starting to rain over here. And that's what you get with Manoa. Thank you again for watching another one of my neighborhood tours. My name is Patrick O'Day. I'm with Remax Honolulu, Hawaii. If you're interested in buying or selling your home, all my information is in the description below. Mahalo again for watching. See you on the next video.